Let's all come out one time, shut down this unworkable system. Once and for all. And then, after then, can we have a country in which the people decide their constitution, not the fraudulent constitution that was set up by generals in the army. No longer afraid because someone who is not afraid of death cannot be threatened with death. That is the truth. And for this country to move forward, some of us must sacrifice our blood for it. I never knew I would live to be 48. So I'm living beyond even the time that I estimated. I could have died beside Abiola when I was 22 years old in 1993, when they were killing anybody who's opposed to the government. It was in this country that they were shooting people on the street. Kudira and Abiola, the people that shot them, they are getting national awards today. Went to primary school, they say we are leaders of tomorrow. Went to secondary school, leaders of tomorrow. University, leaders of tomorrow. Master's degree, leaders of tomorrow. Even I ran the election in election last year. They said it's not yet my time. I'm 48 years old. From here, I think it was a senator at the age of what, sir? At the age of 43 or so. Yes, I'm 48 years old. And they are saying that we should wait again. Yes. You may want to wait, but we cannot wait any longer. Not one day longer. Because it's our future that is at stake. Regarding you, sir, and the fact that revolution is a double-edged sword, the current situation we are in is a four-edged sword. Anywhere you hold, it will kill you. So I would rather go with the double-edged sword than continue to live with the four-edged sword that Nigeria has become today. So don't worry about who will die. Are we not even dead in this country? We are dead alive. You don't know how you can make it home as you are here. Maybe you are flying. How are you sure that even from the airport to your house, a full army headsman, according to them, will not jump out of the bush and shoot you? Is that the revolution that killed you? 